Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com and today I want to show you a snake knot with the Mad Max style uh, closure so it'll be a little bit adjustable. Um, I looked back, I, did, I thought I did a snake knot uh, quite a while ago but yeah I looked back into my all my videos and I did not do a snake knot. I did a corkscrew and I did another one um, it looked a little bit like the snake knot, but nope, never did a snake knot. Anyways, let's get started. Um, I have about 10 feet of cord here, and I think this should be plenty if you're doing like a 7-inch bracelet. And what I've already done is I've already found my center point, and the way that you do that is you put your two ends together, and then just pull all the cord through your fingers until you have a loop at the end. That's your center point. And we're going to work off of this the whole way. So, the first thing I want you to do is to take your left cord and make sure you hold on to your center point here. Take your left cord, cross it over and around your right cord. And I got some, hold on one second, I got to move a few things here. I got in the way. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So, what you've got, you've got here is your left cord basically just wraps around your right cord and you're going to have a little bit of a loop left over from that. So you have your right cord going through that loop. Now your right cord is, you're just going to take it around the back of your left cord, just like that. And then, what I like to do, because it's a little easier, is create a loop with this, or just a little thing that you can push through. Open this first loop up that you made, and poke this through and pull it through. And that'll give you your first knot. Now I'm going to back this up and show you a little bit different way of doing it if you just want to do it with the end of the cord instead of making that little thing there. So I've got my center point. Let me scoot out just a little bit. Center point there. You're going to take your left cord, wrap it around. I have a loop here. Take your, the cord that's going through that loop, kind of pinch everything, and take it off to the left side, and you want to grab the end. So you should have something that looks like this. And we're just going to take this cord and go down through this loop right here, this first loop that we made. Just like that. Pull it on through. And you can see it kind of makes makes a knot that's the same on the front and the back. And what we're going to do is tighten this all the way up. And this is also going to act as our closure at the very end. So what you're going to do, let me lighten that up a little, there we go. We're going to basically tighten this all the way down. Not so much that it pulls through, because you could actually pull this through and kind of lose that knot. But since this is going to be our closure, you definitely want it to be as tight up there as you can. And you're going to end up using a fid to get the cords through here at the very end. But see how I have just a barely, barely a hole there. But if I put my fid through here, it, it goes through real nicely. And we're going to get two cords through here. So you don't have to worry about that being too tight. Because the fid, what the fid will do, it'll actually pull some slack from the knots. And it'll still go through. See, I mean, that's that's a small hole, but the fit goes through no problem. Okay, so I'm actually going to tighten this up maybe a little bit more. Because I don't want this to, to loosen up as you're wearing it, because then the closure won't hold. So I'm going to tighten this almost all the way down. And see, you can barely see a little, maybe a little poke of uh, light poking through there. All right, so now that you've got this part, it's kind of just the repeating. You're just repeating the same thing. So you're taking your left cord around the back, just like that, creating that loop on the right. And you're taking your left cord around the back, just like before, and you're going to poke it down through this loop here. So I like to do it this way because it's just a little quicker for me. You're just going to create this little thing here, poke it down through the loop, act as if this is the end of the cord. 
So if you didn't have all this cord right here, just act like this was the end of the cord. Poke that down through, and then you can pull everything through. It's a little easier than grabbing the end, and then uh, push this up. And you want all your knots. I like to do these sideways. I don't know why. I think it's because I can tighten and push as I do it. So what, you're, what I'm doing here is I'm pulling with these fingers here as I push with these fingers towards the, the end. And I do that on both sides. And what, you, what you're looking for is you want this part of the knot. Let me see if I can get a little more detailed. You want this part of the knot to kind of nestle right in this little this little area right here. And you're just going to keep on doing this until it kind of scrunches all the way down until you can't really do it anymore. And you're just going to keep repeating that until you get your your length of your bracelet. The nice thing about this is that you can do the length of your bracelet and check it. If you need to do another one, you just do another one. So left cord, wrap it around the back of your right, take your right cord around the back, create your little end here, and then poke it down through that loop on the right, and pull everything through. A little easier than using the end of the cord. And then you're just going to cinch this right on up. Real easy to do. And I'll do a few more here, just so that you get an idea. But see how, see how there's a little area right here that kind of has like a cove to it, a little concaved area? You want this knot to kind of nestle right in there. And you can kind of turn it until you get it in that spot. And that'll get you nice and uniform. And as long as you make your last knot look like your previous knot, you'll have a very nice looking bracelet. All right, and we'll do uh, we'll do two more. So left cord round the back, off to the left. You got your loop here. Kind of pinch everything. Create your little your little loop that you can poke through, and poke it down through that loop on the right. So you should have something that looks like this. And you're going to poke this down through that loop on the right. And then pull everything through. And if you find that a little tricky to do, just grab the end of the paracord and go down through that loop. Just It's the same thing. And we'll push this up. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing these cords, pulling, while I push. I'm pushing toward the end of the bracelet. And then we just grab, once we get it right up close to the bracelet, or the other knots here, start working on one strand at a time pulling and pushing at the same time and you just do each cord until you really can't do it anymore you'll you'll know when you can't do it because you won't be able to pull any of the cord through just like that and then you end up with a real nice uniform looking bracelet so I'll do one more here a little quicker and then I will be back to show you how to do the closure, the Mad Max style closure. All right, there we go. And I picked the color moss for my my two color or my one color. Um, fits very well with the the color of the the movie. Movies have a lot of earth tones and kind of darker. Uh, browns and greens so this fits kind of well with the movie but there we go we're, we're getting there so I only got about 30 more of these knots to do until I get to the end <laughs> oh so once we get back we're gonna use a fid we're gonna attach the fid pull it through and then I'll show you how to do a stopper knot on there now I'll be back okay so I have made the snake knots all the way down um, and I've got oh I don't know about a foot and a half of cord on each side so about three feet left um, I was gonna do like a really nice stopper knot which you still can you can do a glow um, uh, I think it's called a button knot um, it's a little too big for the style that I want to do I'm just gonna do another snake knot to finish this off that way we don't have to learn anything new um, 
So what I've already done is I've already cut these ends and made them into a point so that I can just thread the fit on. As you can see, I've already got one done. And you want to do this to the point where it almost comes together. So you can see I'm, I'm kind of pulling it a little tight and we're not quite closed. So you want to go right to that point. Now, if you want to do it all the way, you can do that too. It's really up to you. Um, so we're going to take our one cord and in this hole that we created at the very beginning, we're just going to push this down through. Should, should slide through fairly easy. Pull your cord through. And you can see it kind of cinches right up on it. And you want to get rid of that twist. So we got a little bit of a twist there. So we're going to pull that through just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other cord. So unscrew it from that one. Screw it into this one. Real easy. And do the same thing now. Just pass it right through the same hole. This one might be a little tighter, but that's good. You want it to be tight. There we go. You can hear the friction. You want to hear that friction. That way you know that it's going to hold wherever you set your length. Alright, so let's get rid of this fit here. And what we're going to do is act like this is the loop that you started with. So you're going to go around just like you normally would. And this, is, this is our stopper knot. I'm going to do one more snake knot here just to finish it off. Oh, and I think I messed that up. I sure did. <laughs> All right, so go around. Take this one around the back. There we go. That's what I didn't do. I didn't go around the back. And through the loop there. Pull through. All right, now we got to figure out where we want our stop or not. So I'm just going to say, and it's kind of a guessing game. I'm going to say it's going to go right there. And then I'm going to see if I can get this put on with it right there. And the nice thing with the snake knot is it's a little stretchy. So that's good. And yeah, I can get that on pretty easy. So I'm actually going to move this up just a little bit. So we're just going to loosen this up. So loosen your snake knot up just a little. Just like that. And I'm going to push it down the down the cord just a little bit and then pull it tight and you want this knot to be nice and tight so that it doesn't loosen up on you and then just try again so we're gonna put the bracelet on and that that's still going on pretty easy I don't need it to be that loose so let's try one more try so we're gonna loosen this up again push it on down the cord. There we go. You want the bracelet to be kind of hard to get on because you don't want all this extra cord hanging off the end. There we go. And you definitely want to ch check this before you go cutting your cord too. It'd be real bad if you got all the way through the bracelet. Yep, there we go. All right. Get all this cord pulled through. Check to make sure we can tighten this to where we want it. And now we see we only have a little bit of cord that's going to be hanging off this bracelet, which is just perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this bracelet. There we go. And the stopper knot here is going to get cut. And I think I've got fluid in this. I'm going to cut the ends off right at the base of the knot on both sides. I'm just going to do one at a time here. I'm going to push that in there. So there's one side. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group, Paracord On. You can search Paracord On in the Facebook search, or you can do it 
old school and type in the URL. It's facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And that'll take you right there. And see, we just have a small stopper knot. I didn't want something real big. It also matches the exact same knot as the rest of the bracelet. But there it is. That's the snake knot bracelet with the Mad Max style closure. Looks really good. You, you always definitely want to have as little as possible hanging off this end. So you want to be able to get the bracelet on just barely. And when you can get the bracelet on just barely, that's where your knot needs to be. So I hope you like it. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. It really helps us out. And until next time, paracord on.